Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good weekend celebrating George Washington's birthday. Short week this week, it's Tuesday. We're going to talk about uh, some spy Russia headlines. Not a whole lot, just different stuff to scare the market or make it seem that way. Sub up, like up, comment down, happy money sticks around. We have a Twitter you can follow us on at Happy Money YT, as well as the Discord server. Link for that is in the description. Um, Bye's making a big double doji here today, it looks like. It is 45 minutes to close. Pretty big melt off today is on the, the market. And it was coming down. It broke through that support from back here, 127. It looked like it wanted to just kind of keep going. And then I actually stepped away. I think Biden had his speech and the, they're putting sanctions on Russia, I think, but they're not going to be as bad as what was anticipated. I think that was the turnaround here, maybe at some point. Um, at any rate, it's coming back up. Just a big range, big moves. Um, everything's still bearish on it, but if we hold this support, probably just keep trading in this kind of range for a bit. If we break through, I mean, this wick down here goes to 420. So we'll see. I mean, everything's still bearish on it. Momentum is all still bearish. We did have spy puts. Uh, I closed those today. Got a pretty good exit on them around, actually right here on that engulfing candle. And then my Tesla bearish play, I also closed. I thought about trying to get the rebound on them, and I was like, nah, I'll just, I'll forget about the rebound. I'll just get it back down. Um, Tesla, I closed a little earlier. Uh, did all right on those, but uh, need to get more bearish exposure once we have a little bit more of a bounce, maybe some more consolidation. GME, on the other hand, uh, looking good. It had a, had a pretty big wick this morning with the, with the market coming down. GameStop definitely came down with it. Um, or wait, no, is that? Yeah, that was this morning. Yeah, it got kind of crazy aggressive this morning. Wicked all the way down to 114 on just low, low volume. And I figured it'd probably be a wick. And if it wasn't, then yeah, we're making new lows. But so far we're 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 holding that support more or less. It's kind of a kind of a rough support since it's always wicks, but kind of that 117, the support we made back here. Holding that and really just waiting for, for the big pop. Big pop to the upside because on the longer term we are still bullish. So on the, here's on the hourly, um, and it's, it's holding that support. That said, I mean, uh, momentum, yeah, MACD is bearish, and candles are bearish. But uh, the fact that it did bounce so heavy off that support, I think it's probably gonna climb its way back out. Uh, four hour momentum, still bearish, but same sort of deal. Uh, bearish on the MACD, red under the nine, um, but big bounce off that support. Big doji there on that four hour too, a pretty pretty good size. That's nice. Nice to see for a bullish reversal. Same with that one, really on the hourly. Daily still still bullish, bullish MACD. Um, open and close. Last candle was green over the nine, so nothing red under the nine so far. Still looking good on this front. I still expect to move before earnings, which is March twenty second. Could be tomorrow. Tomorrow is uh, T plus two from options expiration uh, last Friday. GameStop is known to run at the end of the month, depending on if it's options, swaps, whatever. Um, oftentimes it's runs are at the end of months, as well as near uh, options expirations or T plus two from there. This was end of the month and then it ran into the beginning of the next month. This was end of the month. Ran to the beginning of the next month. This was end of the month right here. Ran to the beginning of the next month. This was end of the month. Ran into almost to the middle of next month. Um, and I'm expecting something similar in the next 30 days as far as price targets. I don't know. It's hard to say. We haven't seen it. Um, we haven't seen it go through one of these cycles when this when spy and the overall market's been in a precarious situation because last year SPY has not been in anything precarious, it's just been up. So hard to know how that'll react. It could be very bullish in that we start the squeeze because SPY coming down could cause liquidations, could cause people pulling money um, out of hedge funds that are shorting GME. Could cause a lot of, a lot of different scenarios that we haven't seen um, yet. And this also is pointing to 
a chart very similar to Volkswagen squeeze with the dip and Volkswagen dips and then squeeze is out of the dip to the upside. So um, yeah, that said, it's, it's, it's kind of unknown for me. I, I think I would be surprised if we just see a bump up to like 150 to earnings. Um, but we could, I, I feel like we'll probably have a big, a big move, if not the, the squeeze and really the bottom could be here. If we do sell off after earnings and it's seems pretty major, like we're repeating this price action or this or this, then yeah, squeeze is not going to be on at that point, I would imagine. Um, but a lot of reasons why news could come out. NFT marketplace releasing, I think anytime, uh, the creator's deadline was yesterday or the NFT marketplace, the selected creators. So really, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm hopeful any, any day now and tomorrow could be big. We've got a lot of, a lot of options. We'll go over that exposure here. I also got a loan for 25 grand, um, to invest into GME. And I think it's at a great price. And with that loan, I'm shorting puts. So selling cash recurred puts, um, not yellowing into long calls out of the money with short expirations. So uh, I can break it down for you guys. It's pretty pretty straightforward. It should, should work out pretty well. I mean, if, of course, if GME tanks quite a bit, um, it'll be rough for a bit, but if it doesn't go too crazy to the downside, we should be fine. Today, I just closed out of my bear spy play, made a few hundred on that one, closed out of my spy put, made a few hundred on that one. I uh, was able to time those all right. Didn't get anything on the bounce. Birds is actually up today. It has a strange kind of inverse beta for some reason. Um, it's plus 5%. I guess Rivian. Got some bearish plays on Rivian. Uh, that's the only thing really left, I guess. Covered calls. Uh, so last week I was looking through Fidelity's, um, their active trader thing and just looking at different different ways to basically do covered calls and probabilities and stats and what's the most probable from a two year back test. And a lot of the options or a lot of the stocks actually I hold in my long term. Um, I could be selling covered calls pretty close to the money. Some, some of them at the money, I'd get the best returns. Um, a lot of them though, kind of that 35 Delta which is more aggressive than I normally do. Normally, I, on the long term, I sell like 20 Delta covered calls. But anyways, exposure for this week. It's aggressive, everything's down, but uh, this stuff might be very profitable in the next 24 or 48 hours. Um, this is a 155, 170. So max gain on that one's 170. I've got a pretty good ceiling on all of these. Max gain on this one's 175. Um, so if we go above that, I'll be very pleased, but... Uh, we don't need to go that high for these to be good. Here's another one. This one's a little little safer. It's, this one's the biggest one for this week. This is a 131.160. So basically tomorrow we need to start seeing like 130 or so for this to be back profitable. And anything over that will look good. Up until expiration. Break even on it's 135. So we need 135 by Friday for this to be break even. Um, this is a $3,400 debit spread. So spending on that one. Um, it is down. I would average into some, actually, if I was averaging today, I'd be averaging into probably these 160 calls for the end of March and maybe this call debit spread for end of March because I, this is too short a term now. Um, not to say these won't work. I think they still will work, but, uh, yeah, I wouldn't average into those. Um, this is a pretty big one for a couple weeks from now. And then this put credit spread, I'll have to roll this if we don't close above 140 by or 146 or sorry 130 by friday but i'm hoping this will be max profit i'll close it out of the money uh yeah let me show you guys i wanted to show you the uh my long term here it is so basically yeah with that loan i was able to short uh two more puts on gme these 110 puts we're down a little bit. I just kind of did it right at the beginning of open, whatever. Um, and then I also actually shorted these 107 puts. Timed it a little bit better, and you see 23% difference. Uh, At any rate, these are uh, weekly weekly puts that I shorted. So basically, uh, if GameStop closes below 110, I don't do anything, then I will own two contracts, I'll own 200 shares of GameStop at 110. 
but to sell that contract, I received $416. Same with this 107. If Jamie closes below 107 by Friday, I will own, this one is three contracts, so 300 shares at 107, and I receive $675 for that credit, or credit for that uh, contract. So what I'll be doing on uh, Friday is rolling these probably to next Friday and picking most likely uh, like between 20 and 30 delta, so maybe 25 delta, um, just to play it safe. And so basically the the loan is 10%, it's a 10% interest and it's fixed. And it's, what is it? I think it's a 36 month. So basically my payment's on it. Um, I think they're only like 800 bucks a month and shorting two puts right now with the current IV um, at even 20 delta, I will be able to make that payment pretty easily. Cause this is a short week even too. And I got a bad entry and this is 416. So 800 for two weeks, 1600 for four weeks. So we're looking to hopefully double it. What I'm gonna do to keep it safe is uh, not probably put money back in and just make sure I make the, the payment basically every month and then if Jimmy rips up and you know squeeze or big pinch happens, I'll probably pay off the loan right away. Uh, otherwise, um, we'll see. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put all the profits back into payments, depending on how much leverage I want to continue on. I mean, 36 months is a long time. I, I don't. It's it's low interest though, so it's it's honestly not uh, it's not too much to sweat about. But um, should be able to hopefully do pretty well with that. If there's a crazy market crash and correction. Yeah, I'll be I'll be a little stuck in it if Jamie comes down to like forty bucks. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of the one thing that you have to look out for. A little bit a little bit of risk in that. Uh, GameStop looks good, guys. We'll see you on Discord. Thanks so much for the donos and the memberships and well, no number no memberships yet actually, but thank you guys so much for your donations. They've been very appreciative of those and all the all the activity on Discord and the new subscribers. You guys are legends. Long weekend is now behind us. We can get back to staring at candlesticks. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.